Well, good afternoon. You know, this is not about complaining or finding fault, but there's a reality of something that I want to share with my audience, and it's this. We are seeing a significant increase in people's attitude where a virus of failure, negative experiences, maybe challenging upbringings, maybe disappointments, maybe... Uh, a trauma, um, just taking over people's mentality in a way that takes away from their authentic selves. And when we look at the people who are having these challenges, they tend to then express these inner pains to the exterior world in many different forms. It can be in a, a, a way of um, excessive tattooing to drug and, uh, increased drug and alcohol use, uh, to maybe even uh, resorting to violence and taking people's lives uh, through guns, knives, fighting, whatever the case may be. And when this type of behavior happens, what we're doing is we're losing ourselves. We are creating this um, world of animals instead of human beings where people end up becoming caged or becoming medicated with medication uh, and then becoming in this uh, world we call an open world that's supposed to be a way of, of, of uh, giving us enriched value and significance and importance. Now we see it as survival of the fittest. We see it as survival of the fittest of the mind, the body, the spirit. And what we need to really come to grips with in truth is rediscovering our our authentic selves and how do we do this is by understanding question number one where have your experiences taken you question number two why are you here why are you alive what is your purpose question number three when we look at the structure of our world it is not about duplicating what others have done it's about how can I innovate who I am? Because the truth is what really is the secret to understanding ourselves and developing ourselves is to identify our true strengths of what we have in respect to our talents and skills and ability and what our true quote unquote weaknesses or insufficiencies are and allow the teachings of other people's experiences to help strengthen those and get resources and be resourceful enough to bring in different tools and strategies, either from an academic standpoint, or maybe from a um, professional development standpoint, or maybe it's from books or CDs of people that have, quote unquote, the results that you want. I have to be very careful with that. And what I'm trying to say here with that third part or that third question is be mindful of the fact that I'm not saying that you're supposed to become what those people are. A lot of people out there are selling people the idea of modeling what someone else is doing without understanding or helping people understand. It's not about modeling so much. It's about identifying part one, what you contribute with your strengths and what you have with your talents and skills. And part two, being able to identify our weaknesses and insufficiencies, as I mentioned, and then leveraging what some people out there may have to help you strengthen those qualities so you don't try to become something that you're not. So it's not about duplication, it's about innovation. How can you do that? And once we learn how to step up and address those three questions, I can guarantee that our world's not just going to be a better place. It's going to be a significantly better place in the essence of the individual because the individual will have the fruit because they attack the root of the cause of the problem and they've been able to identify who they are, what they stand for, and reestablish principles and values within themselves so that they have character and integrity without allowing themselves to become victims of experiences that may have been negative, challenging, etc. And instead of self-abusing themselves or, or, or putting themselves in a position to um, drink, smoke, uh, uh, excessive tattooing, uh, associating with people of that same culture and mentality because they haven't identified those three questions. The point is we start to then create this cycle of this repetition of being lost without being found. My goal here is to help people 
see if they can be found within themselves. In addition to that, to then reevaluate our, our, our strengths and weaknesses. And by addressing our strengths and weaknesses, we can then look to innovate instead of duplicate what others may have done to help strengthen our, our weaknesses to be better. Have a great day.